Hey kids, uh, I do this every once in a while. Uh, this particular uh, situation, I've had uh, three albums that were uh, pre-ordered. Uh, uh, only uh, two of them, I ended up getting extras, and I will show you that. Uh, uh, the fourth one is... Uh, a band I used to be into, or I'm still into, but I haven't really followed them for a few years. Uh, something happened uh, to them. I'll get to that. Uh, so I decided to check out the album. Now, each and every one of these albums I absolutely am just digging. There are two of them that I can't seem to stop listening to, so it's a little lopsided. But, uh... Firstly, a uh, couple of weeks ago, I went to see uh, a band called Stickman. Uh, they comprise of uh, uh, Tony Levin, who plays a Chapman stick. Uh, he, the last time I saw him, was uh, playing with King Crimson, the drummer, uh, Pat. Oh. I forgot it. I forgot his name. <laughs> I don't have it in front of me. So, uh, Pat uh, Marlato or something along those lines. He else out of the three drummers that was uh, there at the uh, King Crimson show. He was one of them. And a uh, man, I'm forgetting names like crazy. Uh, the gar guitar player. He used to play a Chapman stick. And that's why they would call chat uh, or stick men. Uh, but he plays a, a guitar that he invented himself. It plays a lot like a Chapman stick, uh, which is tapping. Actually, I'm, I'm left-handed. Uh, yeah, the tapping of the uh, of the strings. Uh, for the most part, you don't strum a Chapman stick. Uh, he can strum his guitar. Uh, excellent show. If you ever, you know, get to see him, check him out. Check out uh, what you know what they have in the store. Uh, in their albums, I picked up uh, one of them, and I downloaded another, but I can't remember the name of it. Uh, as you can see, King's X is it. Uh, I'm a fan of King's X. They're my favorite rock band and my favorite guitar player. Uh, Ty Tabor released uh, uh, his latest solo album off of Rat Pack. I believe the next King's X album will be uh, coming out. Now, let's see. Uh, this is going to sound like this is the lesser of the albums. Uh, I'd hate to say that, but uh, these are a bunch of solid songs. Uh, he is my favorite guitar player, so I you can say that I'm kind of biased on, on this. But uh, probably partially because of COVID, partially because he can do it. He plays everything on this album, all the guitars, all the bass, and including drums. He's a great singer, kind of in the Beatlesque uh, quality. Uh, this is mature hard rock. It's not a bunch of titties and beer type uh, things going on, uh, but it's it's a solid rock album from my favorite guitar player. Now the next three, uh, I don't know if it's because <laughs> I'm I'm wearing head uh, complete headphones. Uh, I think they're Marshall from uh, the Marshall Amp Company. Uh, but I'm hearing just amazing work. Uh, the instrumentation, there's more instrumentation on uh, the next three albums uh, than there is the Ty Tabor album. Uh, 
Ty Tabor's album does not sound like it's low budget, but it probably was. Uh, and the next one is probably low budget, but it has several uh, different types of instrumentation. There's guitar, 12 string guitar uh, starts out one of the songs. And uh, as I said, excellent uh, uh, bass playing throughout the end. Actually, the next three are just amazing bass playing, amazing mixing, uh, instrumentation. Uh, there, there's even violin on some of the songs on this album. Uh, this is uh, Rosalie Cunningham, the uh, her new album called Two Piece Puzzle. Uh, she's kind of uh, psychedelic prog kind of late 70s or late 60s early 70s style you hear you know anything where from the Beatles um, uh, Elton John is a little bit of an influence here uh, very British very British and a, and a quite it really is put it's her pushing towards the progressive even more I her previous uh, band, uh, which was really a pro project, it was really kind of a solo thing going on, truthfully, uh, as well as this. She just, but the band was called P Person, that's P U R S O N, and I ended up uh, checking them out. Uh, with this other band I was just starting getting into, I was more into Person. Uh, than them and that uh, this is an album I can't seem to stop playing and the band they she opened up for Ghost uh, what's this called again Imperia this is another one this I mean this could possibly be her masterpiece there's not a song that I would skip on this at all uh, I like some more than others, but it's all the way through. Uh, this one, I would say, uh, first six songs for absolutely sure. Uh, even seven, because that, all the instrumentals I like on this album, even, yeah, they're pretty short. But uh, one song. Darkness at the Heart of My Love is a song I would skip. Uh, I'm a little bit iffy on other, way, on other songs, but the first, so all the singles I like, the ones that have videos, uh, 20s, uh, uh, Call Me a Little Sunshine, Hunter's Moon are all songs that I really enjoy, but it looks like Side 2 is a, kind of a hit and miss. But this is amazing. Uh, I forgot the guy's name, but he's a uh, lead guitar player for Opeth. Apparently, uh, he has he plays on a few songs on this. And one one of the things that I've been wanting them to do, uh, and that's push towards progressive rock, and they do this on this album. Uh, I can't say that every song on here is progressive. But I could be wrong on that. But there are songs uh, that are definitely of a progressive quality to it, or at least it's fused in. Uh, and that, that's another thing. Even uh, Ty uh, has done progressive rock. So, you know, we got uh, Rosie doing, Tobias Forge doing progressive rock, and uh, well, the next band won the Grammy for best uh, hard rock metal performance. And that's Dream Theater with their uh, new album, A View from the Top of the World. Uh, yeah, I I felt that, uh, that I had finished with uh, collecting Dream Theater albums and uh, I, I took it as a signal to me when uh, their drummer Mike Portnoy, Portnoy left the band 
uh, as permission not to uh, buy anything else. Uh, but I ended up, uh, you know, finding out they won the Grammy, which, you know, the Grammys are bullshit, but it, it's still more exposure for them. And I decided to pick up the album to, uh, you know, check it out. And this is actually quite amazing. Uh, uh, I have nothing against the uh, the new drummer, Mike Mangini. Not sure if I pronounced that right, and I apologize. He's actually quite amazing on this album. Everything's amazing. Uh, John Mayung, the the bass player, is just amazing. <laughs> like I said, pretty much all the albums, the bass playing is is you know top notch, amazing musicianship. Uh, well, that, let's go through it again. Uh, the New Dream Theater. Or new ish. Uh, Imperial by a Ghost. Two Piece uh, Puzzle by uh, Rosalie Cunningham. And what's this called again? Uh, Shades by uh, Ty Tabor. And a little sign here. Well, oh, I also have a guitar pick. That's one of those pre, uh, pre order. Yeah, it did easy yet. Well, that's it for now. Until next time, stay safe. Always have a good time. Bye.